All right guys, Rich here from the RC Network and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how this new high-tech X2 AC Pro multi-charger with a soldering station works. So I've been kind of messing with this over the last few days, uh, just having some fun and seeing exactly what it can do. And just wanted to take you really quick through some of the programs, uh, what it does and exactly how that included built-in soldering station works. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, I got kind of my camera propped up here. I also have a tire kind of wedged under here so this isn't glaring so much with the studio light. So uh, kind of keep that in mind as you're watching this. So pretty much you have uh, the A channel and the B channel. Uh, once you start going through, um, and I've highlighted the A channel right here, you can pretty much um, start going through the different programs or functions of that A channel. So right here, right it says electric iron. Uh, we can go to lipo battery, life battery, uh, lilo battery. Not sure what exactly that is. Uh, lithium high voltage, uh, nickel metal hydride, NICAD. Um, PB for lead, uh, battery meter, so pretty cool feature on this charger. You get a battery resistance um, and then system settings, so that goes into the main system there. Um, back to battery memory and then finally electric iron. So um, what's really cool about this uh, charger is not only do you get a dual port AC charger, um, but you do get a built-in uh, soldering iron. So uh, this is an included item in this box. Uh, right now I have the chisel tip um, inserted into the soldering gun. Nice rubber handle right here. And it's plugged directly into the front, as you can see right there, of the um, X2 AC Pro. Now it does come with this kind of very kind of flimsy stand with a uh, cellulose sponge that you can fill with water to uh, help keep the tip of the iron clean, um, but I'm just using it for demonstration right now. So right now um, I'm going to go ahead and hit enter or start to go into the electric iron. And it states right there 662 Fahrenheit, so I'm going to go ahead and increase that. You have the option of either Fahrenheit or Celsius. I'm going to go ahead and put this all the way up to 750. There we go. Blinking. I'm going to go ahead and hit the start button now. And let's see if it clicks over here. One more time. There we go. Still kind of getting used to the functions of this. You can kind of see the um, temperature rising. It's already at over 500 degrees. There's kind of like a little um, variance where it kind of clicks back and forth between a higher temperature and lower temperature, but I can definitely smell it in here in the studio. And just a couple of times that I've had it on, you can already see that the tip is kind of bluing. So it's definitely getting hot and it is nice. Nice and kind of, uh, you can kind of smell that new electronic smell uh, in the studio here. So already all the way up to 750 and it's kind of rotating back and forth between that 750 to 719 and pretty much staying at 750 now. So pretty cool little iron. This is not something that is gonna be your dedicated iron if you're really into RC. But what's really nice is if you're at the track, you need to just fix something or something came undone, this is a very cool item. Well guys, hopefully you guys found this video informational and helpful. Um, please post your questions on down below and as always, Thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over and out.